Okay, um, the reason I asked if you were uh, used to using masks and gradients is because I noticed in this particular photo the upper half seems to be more faded out than the bottom half. And if you, uh, let me duplicate this layer. If you adjust the levels and get that upper half looking better up here on their faces. You can then add a mask which is this third icon over and using the gradient tool you want to take this second one here which is a foreground color which is black at the moment to transparent. You want to use that on the mask. Make sure you've clicked on the mask itself and not on the photo. A mask will hide whatever is on this layer anywhere you place black. So a gradient, let me open this up, a gradient will place black down to transparent on this particular one and it gradually gets lighter and lighter until it fades down to nothing and wherever you start the gradient anything below that will be black and then it'll fade out uh, and it works whichever direction you go uh, <clears throat> so and I'm holding down the shift key to make a straight line now I want to mask probably everything from about her the, the white uh, shirt about from her shoulder down so I'm gonna start about at that level hold down the shift key and pull up so it will mask everything off now that's a little bit more balanced top and bottom and I can merge merge everything together duplicate it again adjust the levels again if I want to And I think that kind of balances out the photo so that the top half is as saturated as the bottom half was. And uh, I'll go back to that was what you had. And that's with the, the levels more balanced top and bottom. And actually I boosted the levels a little bit. Um, I hope this helps you.